Hello again and welcome to another workshop video. This time it's a Kawasaki ER5. Just checking adjusting the valve clearances. Just have to remove these oil pipes because they get in the way. Uh, there's one screw that holds them on. Just have to be careful when you're undoing this that you don't drop it, you don't want to drop it down the um, cam chain tensioner and then the cam chain uh, tunnel. Or well, you could drop straight into the into the engine. <laughs> it's quite a long bolt, so you should be able to get get hold of it. Make sure you don't drop that. These these, uh, these oil pipes are held in. They've got O rings on the ends, so they. They can be quite tight to get out, just may have to gently leave them out with the screwdriver. Couldn't pull them out with my fingers, so I just had to um, jiggle them about and just lever them, leave, leave the ends. I've already taken the other side out. The other side came out quite easy, this one, this side's a bit more stubborn. Lift that out now. Just check the the rings on each on each end. Make sure they're okay. Just remove the plug on the uh, left hand engine cover. Then you can turn the engine over. Just turning the engine round so the the cam lobe's actually f facing away from the valves where I'm going to check. Turn it so that the, the uh, lobe on the cam is uh, facing upwards, basically. Have to uh, loosen the bolts off now on, the, on top of the uh, valves, valve springs. Feeler gauge, I found it easier to bend these feeler gauges to an L shape to get them in. Valve, valve adjustment's quite simple on this bike, it's just a screw and lock, lock nut. Just adjust it so there's a slight drag. It's just a flat headed, flat headed screwdriver to a slot, or slot headed, I should say, to unscrew them. These on the valves on this bike are all too tight. So to loosen them all off. And anti clockwise just to loosen the adjustment screw off. Just checking that's that's correct. When you're happy with that, you can just use a small um, spanner or a wrench, whatever you call it, on the on the lock nut. You hold you hold the hold it in position with the screwdriver and just turn it. Turn the lock nut to lock it in position. Just in case of checking it again with the fear the gauge. Sure you're happy with the clearance. Once you're happy with that, you just uh, tighten it, tighten the 
the bolts up a bit more with the, with the wrench, make sure it doesn't move. Check it again as well. Just take your time. The uh, exhaust those files are a bit more difficult to get to. Again, the frame gets in the way at the front of the engine. Just slackening the uh, the top nuts off again. The wrench. find I had to use a, a shorter screwdriver, you had to use a stubby screwdriver and a, and a short wrench because there's not much room to get in there. Once I I'd, once I'd, I'd adjusted it, I just uh, tightened the lock nuts up again. It's basically you just keep uh, take it take your time and keep just keep uh, checking it till you till you're happy you've got them correct clearances and then uh, tighten everything up and that's it that's the end of the video it's basically it very simple simple job on this bike really so that's it for now thanks for watching